New York and on the new Hot 97 app, Ebro in the Morning. On Hot 97. Ebro in the Morning, beautiful Laura Styles, Rosenberg, give it up one Yo, time. Hey, Boogie, back yeah. on the show. Yeah. Yo, hey, Boogie, what? He's got a hoodie. With the hoodie. This is the first time we've ever done an interview with you in a hoodie. After all these years. That's crazy. He's living the brand now. I like it. Yeah. He, something looks different about you. It's hoodie season. That's what's look. That's ah, what's yeah, looking. it's not summertime. Yeah. It's cold. It's hoodie season. No, you look. You look like you've grown up in some way since last time we seen you. It I hasn't been little, that long. I got a little older. You did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old are you now? Twenty three. <sighs> Birthday just passed like a week ago. Oh, happy belated. Happy. I appreciate it. And appreciate your, your da how's dad life? Let's talk about dad. Dad life is amazing, man. What can I say? Just it's still amazing. the one daughter. One daughter. How yeah. old is your little girl now? She's turning two on Valentine's Day. Wow. Oh, I remember when, she, when he brought her, remember? She yeah, was, Daddy! man. Facts, facts. And now, how, and how's that going, like, balancing career? Because you've had, you've just been songwriting and recording the past few, it feels yeah, like this, a year it's been, right? Yeah, this whole year, I ain't really dropped no music this whole year, basically. I've been just grinding. A lot of people wondering what I'm doing. I'm behind the scenes right now, just making a lot of music. And this year, tw like 2019, I feel like it's over. It's over this year. You don't turn up. Well, the it's David O so, record that you over. put, that international project had amazing records on it, your collaborations. Yeah, yeah me and him tight. got another record coming up, too, and his album is dropping, I think, beginning of next year. That David O record, was it Way Too Fly? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's big. That yeah, record, yeah, yeah, did, did it blow up everywhere or just here in New York? Nah, I blew up in Africa, too. <laughs> oh, so you be, have you been to Africa? Nah. <laughs> you plan on going? What's Hell up? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Big tour? I got a tour coming up in um, January, February. A hoodie Season versus Artists. I mean, A Boogie versus Artists. That's the name of the tour. And, um, yeah, Australia's first. And after that, we going uh, East Coast bound, West Coast bound. We, we killing. Who's going on tour with you? It's only me and the team. Hybrid's the label. Oh, gotcha. That's how we rocking. Gotcha. You, Don Q. Trap Manny, me, Don, me, Don Q, Trap Manny. And we got a few other artists, surprise artists. I'm not up on Trap Manny just yet. I need Trap to get Manny's up. going crazy right now. You I need gotta to get, get up, up on, on Trap Manny. He going I'm crazy. slow on that. <laughs> He raps. I ain't even what? gonna say that. You gonna catch. You gonna catch on. He rap. He's a rapper. Rap. Melodic though. He could rap too though. He's not battling Don Q. Like when it comes to the bars, he don't want it with Don Q. He's not like on that level. Nah, nah. He know that too. He know that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to pit people against each other? No, I'm trying to. Nah, it's not keep one keep better than the bro. other. I'm bro's. saying Don Q's style of rhyming Got is it. A, specific. It's specific. You know what I'm saying? Just being. Just want to make everything peace. Don't do that, man. <laughs> Come on, man. That's why. I is, love bars, though. Is this the first time you're going on an international tour with the fam? Nah. Oh, you're yeah, with the fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, yeah, because yeah, you said strictly with the fam. Don Q been to London with me, like. Okay, okay. Places, but he ain't never really going on tour overseas with me. Oh, overseas is crazy. <laughs> it's about to be crazy. What, what has been one of your favorite experiences overseas? Or what country, like, surprised you the most that everybody knew all the words to your music? Hmm. Toronto. My first time going to Toronto was, it was wild. That's not tech. I mean, it's over a lake, yeah. but it's not. Well, it's, it's not there. A, it's international, <laughs> though. It's international. It is international. It's international. It's overseas, Technically. though. Over the sea means like, I, yeah. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Well, because, I mean, he meant international. Okay, fair, fine. You know, I mean, people always say that. Oh, it's not overseas. But he meant, you meant international. Out of the country. It's definitely he out of the country. He knows Canada's not on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, man. It's That's able to do But it's definitely over some big water. True. Lake Ontario. Like, if you wake up in the middle of the, the flight, you'll be like, yo. Yeah. Right. It's just quick. Quick. Hoodie Toronto, season. you had love. Hoodie season, though, coming 21st, man. December 21st, hoodie season. Best album of the year. Oh, God. Who's oh, on God. it? Me. No collabs. Maybe. Oh, you don't want to tell for it. <laughs> you though. just reflected. Nah, nah, he did say it's, best. It's, you said best. Collabs. There it's are collabs. collabs. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Uh, don't you have Offset and I think Tiger's on? Yeah, Offset, Tiger. Um, then Laura knows all your business. You tried to well, play it cool like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Laura knows all your business already. Well, it's in the internet. It's in the, you know. Now, you my next project ain't going to have no features, though. Um, artist 2, it ain't going to have no features. That's why I'm doing this like this right now. Hoodie Season going to have all the features and Artist 2.0. No features at all. Okay. All right. You why, did, why you did say album of the year on God, though, by the way. Yeah. You feel really strongly about this body work. Whoa. He got really serious when he said that. He's looked at me right in my eye when he said it. He felt like you was trying to play him. No, no, I'm not. I'm just saying that's a good... I like when people make a bold claim nah, about their album. Nobody's trying to play me. Yeah. I'm just telling you my opinion. I think he's trying to play you. I got you. He was not. Please. He's been on this all day. Please don't listen to him. Please. <laughs> now, I will say this. This new record, what is it? Look back at it. Yeah, look back at it. Um, Michael Jackson ad-libs. 
Mm. You think well, I wasn't gonna catch that? That wasn't even on Alibs. That was just like I kind of felt like I'm I made an instrument over the beat with that. Mm, like a percussive thing. Yeah. Bro, shout out Michael on that. You rock my world. Remember the time. And then yeah, you went oh. into what's the lyric? You kind of go into a a you rock my world. What's the lyric? My favorite song from Michael Jackson was You Rock My World in a in a video with Chris Tucker. That shit was that shit was crazy. Classic. So, yeah, I always wanted to do something off of that one. And then for um Remember the Time, that video. Of course. Crazy. Crazy. One of the best Michael videos yeah. of all time. Yeah. Top two or three. Yeah. Crazy. And it's like the most expensive video still, right? Yeah, they spent a lot of money. The, at that time, the uh, the effects of people disappearing and all that mm, stuff was that like crazy. That, bread, that shit was that bread. Nowadays, you well, then even just the special appearance. I mean, yeah, Michael, yeah, Magic Eddie Johnson, Murphy, Eddie, Eddie Murphy, Murphy. yeah, Mom. all the goats. Mom. Yeah, all the goats. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy video. Goat. So, no, Tyra got, Banks, no, was Tyra Tyra's Banks? on that video too. I don't maybe remember. Not, maybe just Mom. Yeah. Crazy. I think oh. she was in that video. I now, hey, Boogie. Was. We, why don't you, for the look back at it, recreate Remember the Time. You got bread now. I got that big budget. I can't, um, I can't, like, reenact what he did in the video. Oh, the... That was a part of the agreement. I can't do that. Ah. So you did have to actually talk to his team about clearing... Yeah. I didn't personally have to call but him. Yeah, yeah, but, but just to do the brap, bobby dap, just that. Bobby <laughs> dap. That required Which part a phone? did you have to talk to Mike's estate or legal team or no, your team have to talk to? I had to, to clear him. both of the songs. Remember the time. Talk and closer to the mic. I had to clear both of the songs. You rock my world and remember the time. Mm. And it was crazy because it took me like a year to to clear. Um, which one was it? You rock my world. One of the songs. There was a lady on there that she couldn't really clear it mentally. It was a lady that had a percentage of the song or whatever, and she couldn't clear the song mentally, and we had to get her mom to take for me. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. So yeah, was, so it, it took went off. deep. Wow. That's why that whole time everybody was like, look, drop, look back at it, drop, look back at it. I couldn't drop, look back at it, for me? And I ain't feel like explaining all that, too, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think it's dope that you even went and did that with somebody that you idolized, right? And, you know, a lot of times people just sample. Like, the fact that you worked it into the song, I, I admire that. That's dope. Well, Good for you, man. Appreciate that. And then, and then they went as far as to say, look, if we're going to do this with you, don't go out here trying to be MJ in the video, though, fam. Yeah, I can't do that regardless because I can't even dance well, like MJ. Like, you, I can't even that dance, part. period. But even before Damn. that, <laughs> they made sure that you understood, like, nah, we not reenacting. Remember the time. That's not clear. Yeah, facts, facts. That's, I mean, that's ill. That's ill. But at well, least I got to re, like, redo the whole song sure. with, the, with the vocals, so... That's a blessing right there, because nobody really get to do that. Nah, I don't even know a person that did that. Besides Drake doing like that feature thing, yeah. I don't know nobody that got it for me. Michael Jackson, Clarence. That's very dope. Well, salute to you for that. Um, and it's called, the new project is called Hoodie, hoodie Season. Season. Hoodie Season. Let me throw my hoodie December for that December 21st, <laughs> the A-Boogie hoodie. I'm glad you back on brand with the hoodie, though. I got to be honest. You know, for us to never have an interview with you, with you actually wearing a hoodie. Shout out Puma, too. Puma. Yeah, Puma, oh, you're Puma doing checks. something with these hoodies right now. Yeah. Oh, you're coming out with a Puma collection? Yeah. Oh, that's tight. You're going crazy right now. Right, Congratulations, shout out, man. Shout out to Big, shout out to Emery. That's tight. Emery right. Jones. Good brother, Emery. The good oh, brother, Emery Jones. Brother. Great brother. Rock Nation, too, right? Facts. Whole Rock Nation. Are you with Rock Nation? Is that you, or you just did this? Nah, this that's, just, that's just on some for me, on some love shit. Like, that's family right there. That's very dope. Yeah. Um and on and you said on the album who'd you say? Uh, Offset, Tiger. Offset, Tiger, Queen Naja, Duga, Queen Naja, Juice Naja's World. Dope, bro. Um yeah, Queen Naja's going crazy. Yeah, she... How did you How did you meet Queen Naja? I met her. I met her in Atlanta. I met her in Atlanta in the studio. She was in New York with um with, Cla with Clarence and her her mom or his mom, and I called him up like, yo, we gotta for me we gotta work. So you know and they were trying to work in anyway. Yeah, now I knew I knew Clarence from that YouTube thing, and I knew he was from the Bronx. Got it. Now I didn't even know he was from the Bronx. Matter of fact, when I met him, I found out he was from the Bronx, and we started chopping it up from there, Got from it. Soundview and all that. So from there, we just started cooking up. We made like two songs in like two hours. Now he's an artist too. Now nah, not Clarence, me and Queen Naja. Naja, yeah. yeah, she's a songwriter. She's crazy. Yeah, she's yeah, she she's gets okay. it in. Yeah, she's good, man. But, Listen, a boogie. Crazy. Um, why don't y'all go pick up on December twenty first? When is that? Not this week. That's next soon. Like next Friday? Week? Next Friday. Yeah, Friday, yeah. Next Friday, right before the Christmas holiday break. 
Um, you got any big plans for the holiday? What you doing for your family, man? What y'all got cooking up over there? Man, I'm just trying to be a good person, man. Good at heart. That's me, man. Good at heart. So you able everybody. to do any new things for your mom? Man, yeah. <laughs> you know me, and I don't really talk about stuff though. Right. Yeah, I just bought a new crib. I ain't gonna shout out the no, location. We don't have to say location to none of that. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's I just a got beautiful thing. First new crib though. She first big crib. I should say like really, really big, big crib. Congratulations. <laughs> that's pretty that's great. That's that's awesome. very. That must feel great. Or feel amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> you seem in a really shout out Boo Boo Savage, man. Shout out Boo Boo Savage, man. Young man on the come up. Yeah. You seem you seem like you're in a very good space though. You seem very happy. Yeah, yeah. Chipper. I just try to um stop overworking myself. I feel like I work too much. I be in the studio for three, four days, fall asleep, wake up, record, fall asleep, wake up, record. And after a while I just leave the studio and I see the daylight and I just be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what have I been doing? That should be breathing. And then I gotta go home. I be tired. I gotta take care of a little melody. I gotta spend some time on when I go home still. So, figuring out a balance is part of is that's part of the challenge as an artist. Well, it's also a trip as a, as a parent too, where you realize that your work, when you OD on it, it actually takes away from the the fun you get to have with your kid because you're not. That's in the a, only that's the only part right now. I don't really get to have that much fun with my daughter, but in the long run, it's gone for me. I'm gonna be Gucci, but. And now, gotta, you right now, out. I got enough music right now where I could really just chill and really chill up. But I'm not gonna stop yet. Feel me? I'm not stopping right now because even though it's enough music, I don't know what songs I'm gonna pick out of all of those. So every project, yeah. So I'm not gonna stop till I feel like all right, I got projects over here, projects over here, projects over here, and we just drop the shit after about 2019. I'm just going back to back all year. Mm. Or Hybrid's mixtape, hoodie hoodie season this year, artist 2.0, and then me and Thugger got signed, me and Lil Dirt got signed. I mean, rock got signs. <laughs> rock. Yeah. P and B. Yeah. Oh, P and B. Oh, P and B. Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And Thugger. Yeah, yeah. You said. Yeah. Wow. Young Thug, P and B. Rock, and who else you got to collaborate? Lil Dirt. Lil Dirt. Lil Dirt. So you got a lot of things happening in 2019. Man. Yeah, you've done a lot of work in there. Wow. Slow down. All right, you got enough. Yeah, you can chill for a second. <laughs> Enjoy the holidays, bro. Enjoy it, man. Eat that's a meal. not even. That's not even half of it. I'm just like saying little things for me. Like I say, three days in the studio. Imagine how many songs I'm making. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure your team is going to have you back up here on every project that y'all drop, because if they don't, I'm going to be on your boy's uh, phone. Nah, like, they, Yo, where a boogie they definitely hard critics. Like For this whole time I've been making music for, for this past year, I've been like looking for a new, new sound, I felt like, right? And it's not even that I'm looking for a new sound, I learned. It's like... A lot of people say, all right, you need to go back to that old A Boogie, old artist, whatever, right? And I learned that if I try to compete with that same sound, I'm going to lose myself. <laughs> I got to just accept that I that I really grew out of that. Like, if you listen now, I sound way better than before. Mm -hmm. If you listen to my new shit right now and then listen to my old shit, you're going to be like, nah, this the quality really has stepped up like, a notch, for yeah, sure. way, way, way better. That's why yeah. Ho said, he, lay, he said it a long time ago, you want the old shit, buy the old album. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep evolving. <laughs> Facts. You got to keep up with me. A Boogie's his name. Pick up that project December 21st. Hoodie season. Hoodie season. Let's play this look back at it. Yo, man, it's good to see you again. Congrats right, on everything, too. Uh -huh. A Boogie, man. Hot 9-7. Give it up. Yes.